guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? I am back with more Minecraft today. We are starting our super flat Let's Play. I know you guys are excited because I am. Look at that. 34 mods installed. It is going to be a party. So I try to make kind of my own mod pack to where it wouldn't be focused on technical stuff because FTB is nothing but technical jargon. And so we'll go ahead and go over the mods real fast. We'll start at the top. So we have Optifine, Forge, uh, Chicken Core, because Chicken Core is for any eye, obviously. The COFH Core, uh, that is for Thermal Expansion. Uh, I use Thermal Expansion mainly for the Liquid Ducks. I will have to make a couple machines uh, just to get those, but other than that, it should be okay. Um, <clears throat> then we have Not Enough Items, um, two more cores, Tree Capacitor, uh, capitator, not a capacitor. Uh, GUI API damage indicators, better furnaces, armor status HUD, mini map, backpack, battle towers, computer craft, uh, mo creatures, enhanced portals, flat bedrock, um, inventory tweaks, liquid XP, railcraft, soul shards, stomcraft, thermal expansion, twilight forest. So we have a pretty solid set of mods here working together, and it's running really smooth. Plus Optifine, by the way. So, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I have ne I never actually generated a super flat world with these mods. I had to test the world to see if it was going to work. So what we'll do is we'll do um, modded super flat fault, super fault. There we go. Uh, more world options, generate sheets off, uh, generate structures on world type default. Super flat, customize, presets, overworld preset, use preset, done. Bonus chest, um, do we want to use bonus chest? You know what, I think I actually will use bonus chest this time, that's kind of fair. Alright, um, everything should be good to go, let's go ahead and create a new world. So, uh, unfortunately I'm going to have to configure the mo creatures as soon as we spawn in here because it's mo creatures and everything spawns as soon as we spawn in. Uh, looks like there's a battle tower over there. So uh, what I'm going to do real fast guys is I'm going to configure mo creatures and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I have enabled, or I've uh, kind of went through and just made everything the way I wanted it. Uh, I kind of go old school with um, battle towers everywhere, by the way. Uh, one thing I've noticed about the new battle towers mod from old times um, is that the actual battle towers, uh, they can spawn above ground and below ground now, which is kind of cool. Um, which which you can actually see right now um, if you look over there that one's in the ground and if you look over here that one's above ground so um, the the only new feature to the battle towers mod was that uh, so uh, when you beat the golem oh they're everywhere I'm kind of hoping that's not the case I wonder if there's a way I can change the config on that to where it'll not freak out <laughs> i would rather not have to like have a bunch of those everywhere because if it comes to worse comes to worse um i might have to tear them down um i'm gonna actually gonna check that real fast i'll be right back sorry guys all right guys so what i have done is i went into the config files um and i changed it to where um <clears throat> where um so oh whoa must be Fuck. Um, okay. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> um, anyways, I went into the config files and I changed it. So I could, uh, what it, basically what it was saying was, is that, uh, I gotta be careful to do this because the game seems to want to freak out. Um, it says, spawn battle towers at such and such location. So what I did was I changed it from 196 to, um, take all of that. I just wanted the top loot, that's all I wanted. Where well, you can make a bed now, so. Um, it says spawn battle towers and the distance between each other. So the, the distance was set to 196, I changed it to 400. Hopefully that'll fix it. Um, we're gonna continue to explore though, there's not a chance in hell I'm going down that thing right now. Um, I really want to find a village. I also want to see what kind of monsters we have. This guy, what are you? You boar? You're a boar. Looks like he changed the boar, uh, textures a little bit. Actually, I should, um, do I have any stone? No. 
I should probably make a sword. I was kind of hoping to run into a village first. And it looks like uh, setting the config file to 400 was a good idea. Why is there elements? I turned elements off. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, hold on real fast. I'm going to show you guys. No creatures, creatures, no creatures, elephants. Oh, boss, there we go. I hope that doesn't reset every time. Because it looks like it does. Oh, good God. Are you kidding me? Does it reset every single time? That's terrible. Bear, bird, bunny, deer. Fine. Elephant, false. Uh, goat, false. Kitty, false. I think it resets every single time. I wonder if you can save it, though. Oh, that's terrible. I'm going to have to figure something out with that because I do not want that like that at all. Oh, man. One thing after another, isn't it? Holy crap, this is a big village. Um, so yeah, this uh, this should be a lot of fun. And as far as the nighttime mobs go, I did leave ogres enabled. Just because. You know, it's more fun that way. So, you know, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> um, let's see. I don't really want to have any wheat. I will take all these uh, other crops, though. And um, I was really on the fence about installing uh, Mistcraft. Then I was kind of thinking, I was like, you know, Mistcraft will probably uh, probably kill kill the whole point to super flat, you know? Because you can just make a new world go and live there and it will be fine. So I held off on Mistcraft for now. Um, maybe if there was a way we could can set it to where every world we went into was super flat, then maybe, but I don't know. That means I'd have to find all the pages and everything, too, so. That really doesn't sound all that fun to me, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> we definitely need to make a bed while we're here, though. But, uh, I am really, really looking forward to this series. I mean, we have the, like, I, I feel like really a perfect set of mods for this. I'm not even sure that I'll ever en enable any other mods to it, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, oh, damn. Hit the jackpot, bro. Got diamonds, steel tools. You're like, how'd you get steel tools? Um, we do have um, uh, railcraft installed. Railcraft for the tanks, um, and then thermal expansion for the pipes. So, pretty cool if you ask me. Let's all that. And go in here and grab the bookshelves. We should have an enchantment table set up pretty quickly. We also have liquid XP if you remember correctly. So LXP. We can do all kinds of cool stuff with that as well. I'm pretty excited. Um, I wanted a way to be able to dig without really us digging. So I decided instead of going with industrial craft quarries, I thought I would install computer craft. That way we can get turtles. So there is turtles in the game. I feel like that's kind of fair. We go. Alright, so there should be another chest room over here. Over here. Let's go ahead. There's so many farms. Jesus. Um, and you're going to notice some other things on the screen as well, such as um, such as the uh, items in my hand are down the display down in the corner. That'll be for... Uh, there we go. Uh, you'll see now that I have boots on, that's... Uh, what is that? Damage indicators? No, that's not damage indicator. That's... Um, I think we had this one to the wrong one. Yeah, that's uh, armor status HUD. Uh, very cool, fun little, uh, little, barely even a game changer mod if you ask me. But I really like it. Uh, same with the damage indicators. Uh, you're gonna notice that little bar popping up. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Dang baller, hooking a brother up, man. Look at all that stuff. These chests are packed. I'll tell you what. Alright, let's put a sword down here. Alright, we need to, uh, let's get a crafting table going and we'll make a bed. Uh, do this. We got plenty of food. We just kind of got to find a spot to build our place at. So, first we need to make some string into some wool. There we go. Grab you. And, unfortunately, I can't distribute these, uh, these things to you guys. I wish I couldn't distribute, um all this stuff to you guys but uh one thing i do want to try though is i want to grow 
Um, man, that makes me mad. Kitty, look at the kitty. It's so cute. <laughs> what are you? You're a maggot. Why is there a maggot in our game? That must be mo creatures for you. Why is there slime balls? Who was dropping slime balls? Oh. He's a kitty. I like him. Ooh, a horsey. Uh, what kind of a zebra? No, it's a zebra, not a horsey. Some horsies, but... Huh, okay then. Some cats, yeah. Man, I wish there was a way we could save our worlds, but... Um... Anyways, here's... I don't think I have a way... No, I don't have any bone meal just yet. Um, I kind of want to find a little bit of an open area. Maybe over this way somewhere. We'll put our bed down and never move it ever. Ever. Ever, ever. We have, uh... We might need to wait through one night time. Which could be very dangerous. Um, what we could do, I think... Would, which might be a good idea. Um, we need to set up to where we can live through the night time. Then to sleep real fast... And, uh, they should be good to go. The hell are you? You're a bear. You're a baby bear, I'm assuming? <laughs> I know bears, and I know they're a lot bigger than that, so... Um, this over here is looking pretty good. I don't see any villages or anything. Oh, there is a battle tower there. Let's go up a little bit. This looks like a normal battle tower. We might be able to take this one on, actually. Um, let's see. This would be interesting, though, I gotta say. I'm gonna put all this stuff down, obviously. I don't want to take this stuff in here with me. And we've already got a steel sword. The steel sword is like equivalent to, uh, like, diamond, I think. That in there. Keep some food on us. Uh, take these as well. We'll give it a shot. It is almost nighttime though. Take this. Whoa, bro. <laughs> I didn't tell you guys about that one, did I? <laughs> I thought I would leave that one as a surprise. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Already poisoned, like a boss. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get in there. Good lord. <laughs> Mob dismemberment's so cool. I'm about to die! No, I'm not. Alright, yeah, we can't go in there. We're not, uh. <laughs> we're not ready for that. <laughs> that would end up very badly if we go in there, I think. Let's, uh, what is it, R? There we go. <laughs> um, we couldn't even barely make it into the very beginning of it, so... Um, yeah, I want there to be some skeleton spawns. That way we can get some bone meal, start making some trees. Uh, we do have the tree capitator, so... Should be pretty interesting. I'm thinking, like, right over here is... Damn it. That's interesting. Spawned right in the middle of the village. Uh, maybe like right over here will be perfect because it's in between everything. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I think, um, right here actually. This should work good. Do that. And then let's just throw some torches down. Waiting to see so many zombies. Holy crap. <laughs> Are those all angry zombies? That's awesome. It's <laughs> kind of hoping to uh, see some skeletons spawn. Uh, yeah, these are all angry zombies. Interesting. I might have to go in and enable and change something with Mo Creatures. I think Mo Creatures messed something up there. For sure. Look at all those angry zombies. Hmm. Yeah, something is not right there. Let's uh, let's check that out real fast. Options, scope of creatures, mobs. 
do Thumbcraft. Um, Brainy Zombie? Is it because there's two different... Oh, hold on one second. Sorry about that. I accidentally moved the window. I think it's because there's two different mobs, like hostile mobs. Uh, so maybe if we go into here... Uh, okay... Yeah, it's gotta be in this one. Just for the reason why there's two of these, I don't get. Let's see, giant. Oh, giant, giant, okay. So, frequency. Maybe we put that down to three. Or something like that. Chunk, maybe two. We'll see how that works out. That should be better, I think. We still didn't see any, any you know, those guys at all. Alright, so let's get a chest down. <clears throat> here, and then we'll get a crafting bench down here. Then let's um, make another chest. Take that. There, put everything in there. And then I think I want to make a furnace, but I don't have any cobblestone. We can go over here to this village. It shouldn't be a problem. We are just absolutely surrounded by battle towers. God, dude. <clears throat> I thought I had changed the configs. I guess it doesn't save or something because I did change it. But I did leave the game at the same time, so... What is that? Oh, it's a villager. Is there any chests over here? Oh, there's two. Ooh, my phone is blurping, blurping. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, iron pants. Awesome. More diamonds, too. Man, we are just getting the straight hookup in these places. What are, where are you at, dude? In here? Oh, oh, go, oh, God. Why is there so many angry zombies? sure there's something wrong. Where the hell are they coming from? Oh, they're coming from inside the battle tower. <laughs> well, this village is just doomed, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. Come on, die already. Damn. <clears throat> That's hilarious. I didn't know that they could put angry zombie spawners in there. Hmm. I'm not sure if the... Holy crap, dude! You know, I'm honestly I'm not sure if uh, the whole Battle Towers mod is going to work. Because look what kind of problems it's causing right now. I don't know. Um, I just need a little bit of cobblestone to get started here, though. I might have to take that mod out. I don't know. We'll see. So many angry zombies. There must be an angry zombie spawner right on that first floor there. Because they were just pouring out of that thing. I feel like I'm being stalked by them. Poor villagers, dude. They didn't even stand a chance. Yeah, they're just straight up pouring out of there. Must be coming out of the top row or something. I want that skeleton to come out of here. I need his bones. Oh, they're coming out of the top up there. How oh, I'm like, where'd I get poison from? Sorry guys, I'm trying to focus here. Did I get any bones? I got one. Damn it. Is this guy going to attack me? Dude, stop shooting me. Is there another entrance? Let's go to this side. <laughs> it's 
spiders everywhere! Oh my god, dude. You're a little brave cave spider, aren't you? You're a brave little guy. Did I get any more bones? I thought I would have. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Whew! Man, that was fun. Not really. But, are you kidding me? A unicorn already? Wow. Wait, no, is that a unicorn? No. What are you? It's just a regular white horse. I was like, wow, a unicorn already? Holy crap. Where is our bedular area? Okay. This is going to be a very, very interesting series. <laughs> To say the least. Holy crap. Man. This is... its It's been a wild ride the first couple of minutes. That's to say the, for sure. Alright, all right, we're going to make a furnace. And then I, guys, I want to show you guys this. I'm going to use some of our iron. Actually, yeah, I don't think we have enough just yet to make a computer. So, uh, we're going to make an iron furnace here. This is uh, part of the Better Furnaces mod. Or maybe not. Maybe it takes something else. Hold on. Besides, Jimmy keeps texting me. Maybe the Better Furnaces mod didn't get installed? Interesting. Um, because you, you know it would pop up under, like, Furnace. Because there, there's, like, ten different ones. Maybe it's on my desktop or something. Hold on real fast. Huh, I don't know. Uh, we can't look at mods from in here. Let's quit out to the title. Mods. Better Furnaces. Huh. Maybe I'm just looking at it wrong? I don't know. Oh my god. I was like, I'm gonna go record, and then she starts texting me. Um, I don't see the furnaces. That's weird. Maybe they're, like, under a different name or something. Yeah, I don't see them at all, actually. I wonder if something is overriding it. Um, let's see. There's a way to look at, I think it's in cheat mode. Let's go to cheat mode. Item subsets. Oh, okay, so you have to make upgrades. You can't just make regular furnaces. Uh, huh, how about that? I thought it was actual, you made actual furnaces. I guess I just don't know what mods I'm using, apparently. All right, so let's go back into any eye and turn on recipe mode. Okay, well, let's look up furnace, and then so we got all these upgrades. Uh, advanced fuel efficiency upgrade. Um, oh wow! I'm assuming that this is just the basic one. Oh no, that's a that's a that's a good one. Ore processing upgrade. I bet that is like a macerator right there. It does two per ore. That's the one we need to make right there. Huh, how about that? But see, the thing is, like, if I go to the Better Furnaces page, I'm, gonna lo I'm looking up the mod right now, like, as we speak. Let's we'll see. It says you should be able to craft an iron furnace, and there is no iron furnace. Oh my god. Get out of here. I don't know. I think something's either wrong with the mod. Yeah, because all those things are... The ones that we saw were upgrades. Uh, with the regular furnace, we should be able to put this in here. And put this around it. And that should make an iron furnace. Uh... Oh, we have an iron furnace. It doesn't have textures. <laughs> How did I know that was going to happen? 
All right, well, the game crashed. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. I decided to leave the Better Furnaces mod installed for the time being, but I'm not sure about uh, if we're going to keep it or not. Uh, it's still here. The actual furnaces themselves are, um, let's see, uh, right here. We just didn't see them before. I don't know why they don't have a texture. Uh, it doesn't really make too much sense to me. But uh, anyways, guys, if you could like the video, that would be amazing. I would love to see like 2,000 likes on this video. It would like, really, really boost my confidence as in this series. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This is iJevin. Peace out.